Hello guys, welcome. Today we're going to be show. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to use the Share Factory now to create sick ass movies. So all you need to go on is new project, as you may have guessed. Just choose a theme, whatever you want. You got the choice of four or five. So I'm just going to go on the PS4 theme. And then it'll come up with this, and then basically you just need to choose what video clip you want. Like so, you can cl you can clip about two. And it'll come, so then you just click, click square to start your project. Just if you want to rename it or just continue. So it comes with an intro. And you just use the right analog stick to um, move it about. Like so. So you just press R2 to play it and it comes with an introduction and an outroduction or an outro. It should be one at the end, I'm not sure unless uh, I think sometimes it just doesn't really work properly but you just got to like add it in where well, there we go. There's the outro. Pretty cool. You should be able to create your own, in my opinion. But you know, so if you want to, if you press square, you can trim it. Like if you use the right analog stick, it moves it left, and then if you use the right analog stick, it can make it. It makes it go shorter when you press right. So then you just press. If you do it wrong, you can press square to reset, and uh, then you just press. X to continue, and then then you've got your trimmed uh, little, little video clip. So it, it, and also uh, you can edit the clip volume by editing volume. So if you want to do voiceovers, like without getting noise distracted, you could do that. I I won't recommend you doing um, voice communication things while playing the game. I'll do it after. But if you're doing like a really long video, then I do recommend. If you're only doing like a two minute one, then don't record your voice while recording in the video. Do it on this because sometimes you can't really hear your voice due to the game's audio. But unless if you turn the game audio down, then I think that'll be then that'll work. Just edit the volume like this. Press X. Also, you can move it. Oh, edit FX and just press Edit. Um. Um. Oh yeah, now you press X and then add effects, and um, you can. There's a whole range of little um, pictures to choose from. We've got speech bubbles, arrows, logos of rubbish. And you've got your theme stickers, just with the PlayStation buttons. You've got filters. You've got layouts. Also, you've got text, so you can write your own text if you want. Also, also, which is pretty cool, you can use the touchpad, and I'm not sure in your body. Like, you just if you divide your finger across the touchpad both ways, it can fast forward or whatever you want. Also, when you press squ square, you can also edit the picture. You can delete it or change the color of it. Also, um, you can put your commentary by pressing X at a certain point wherever you want it. You just press X and then press X again once you've finished. And also, if you want to add music, you can add music. Um, you just need to click X, and then uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's not many music. There's, there's, there's not all that many. But if you have your own music, you can use the USB to import it, which is pretty cool. Like you can have custom music, like I don't know, you built a city summit. Also, you can search them up for that again. And um, yeah, you can just edit your music and press circle to just go back onto the main menu. You can split the clip, and um, and you can also add more videos. But um, you need to know, like you probably will have to trim the music down, mainly because um. It usually goes ten times far longer than you actually want it to. 
so you'll have to trim it and um, you can't make any video clips longer than 15 minutes on the share factory because it won't let you make any more and it won't let you render it which is really bad because I thought the share factory would be good because you can make like put all your video clips together make like an hour long gaming video but you can't so basically what I would do I just import all the video clips onto your computer just put them into one of your movie maker or Sony Vegas or whatever you, your editing software is and edit it that way well you, the share factory is a pretty cool feature what well, they've added it makes people it makes video clip editing so much easier that because I don't have top video editing things on the computer because they're, they're like 300 quid well this just makes it simple it's not like it's not the best you can't do all, all that much with it and um, it's just a it's just a pretty cool little thing so once you do actually have finished with your moving you just need to press uh, press options and then it'll come up with either save your movie or render the movie so on you can save it so you can come back later but when once it's rendered it will go into your capture folder on your playstation home screen and then you can upload it to usb and put it on youtube or, or whatever so um that's that's the main information about this uh, playstation 4 um, share factory hope you guys enjoyed it please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more Cheers.